Bad three things, the Bills and the Chiefs. Time for the big one. Number one, the Chiefs' run D is excellent. Second in yards per carry allowed. But you can throw on them. They're 13th in net yards passing allowed. Bottom third in sacks. They don't force a ton of turnovers. Denver got them with Bo Nix for 215 last week. I think this has to be a Josh Allen game. Maybe through the air and on the ground. Number two, the Chiefs' offensive line is excellent, especially up the middle. But... On the edges, Wanya Morris, left tackle, one of the worst tackles in the league, according to Pro Football Focus, and Buffalo's favorite false start artist, Juwan Taylor, Referee. has been just okay. Greg Rousseau, Von Miller, we're looking at you. Number three, when was the last time the Bills had a kicker advantage in this matchup? They will this week. Harrison Bucker's on injured reserve. The Chiefs are dropping rookie Spencer Schrader into the pressure cooker of the game of the year and into one of the toughest stadiums in the NFL for kickers. Tyler Bass has been very good lately. He needs to keep pressing that advantage. Many think the Chiefs' defense is their strength, but I'm not so sure. The offense, of course, looks different. I'm not pretty anymore. But they've got the most 10-play drives in the NFL. They're converting third downs at a historic rate. I think Kansas City is going to get their 20 points or so no matter what. The Bills have to keep up. And with Dalton Kincaid out, Amari Cooper has to be a difference maker in this game. I think he will. I think the KC kicker change matters. And hey, it's the regular season. Of course the Bills are going to win. Give me Buffalo 23-20.